Heavy leather being traded in this amateur MMA bout. As we said, when it comes to these amateur bouts, usually starting off so aggressive. Always great to see, love the action. Suzanne looking to push the Sealy up against the cage. Keep her there and try and wear her down. This was a good tactic in the first round. Well out by Cecilia. Low hands from Suzanne, dangerous. Oh, lovely big left hook. And take down his attempt, splitting to hands, she's gonna go down. Very nice by Suzanne. Looking very physical as a gun to mount. A bad place to be. Very bad place, especially after seeing that big left hook. You can see that Suzanne has power in her hands. So to be in full mount with someone that powerful, we'll see how Cecilia can work her way out of this. Now what we now, what, now what, we want is, what we want to see from Tassili in this situation is maybe put both hands on the knee, let's shrimp up, try and regain guard from that position, try and buck to get her way out of that position. You know, something. Put your feet on the wall and push off the wall. Yeah, so, well, we can see her trying, so she's trying to bridge, but I think at the minute she just keeps getting hit with some big shots, but she's going to have to try and maybe accept she's going to eat a big shot to get out of this position. Oh, she's eating a few. Suzanne is looking very strong here. She's very happy to be there. And the thing is, it's still there's still a fair amount of time in the round. Oh, Cecilia's given her back and she's been flattened out. No, she's recovered. Fantastic. You know, from my angle, I, I really thought it might be over there, but Cecilia did a great job of regaining, regaining this position. Suzanne, so dominant on top, so heavy on top. Heavy, heavy punches. Yeah, she looks like the physically stronger girl in, in the grappling exchanges. Now, now, the question here is that even if Cecilia makes it out of this round, how much will she have left at the end of this round? She's taken a lot of big shots. She's been on her back. She's pushing her arms out a lot, and if she's not careful, Suzanne can lock one of her arms up and, um, and finish the fight. But I think that's the least of her worries at the moment, because uh, she's got a real high amount, and she can't get any movement from them hips to buck her up. You know, credit, credit to Cecilia, you know, she's a very, very tough girl. The, the, the thing there is just, we're just we're hoping that when she's in this position there's a few things we'd hope to see from her that we're not seeing so if she does make it through to the end of this round but look you can see suzanne she's just creeping higher and higher high up on there blocking off cecilia's shoulder trapping her against the fence looks like she might be too late. going for an armbar oh Ollie, i think exactly as you said i think she left it just a little too late i think another 10 seconds in that round I think she gets that armbar, I think she finishes, but just left it a little too late. She seems like she's in great condition. Hopefully she can come back, have a positive second round, but definitely took a lot of damage, wasted a lot of energy down there, but hopefully, you know, she can come back and have a better round again. Suzanne will be confident. Suzanne's hands are low. Cecilia has opportunities to use her long, long arms and throw straight punches. Ooh, oh, okay. lovely head kick from Suzanne. A takedown from Cecilia. Suzanne looks like she's got some jits. She's, she's, she's trying to lock in, close the guard. Got high guard, got for triangle, and she's got it in. Oh, fantastic. As soon as she hit the ground. Beautiful. Had those legs high, transitioned straight into this the triangle. Could be coming to an end. She's locking the arm, overhooking the arm. Now she's got that triangle fully locked in. What, what we want to what we want to see from Suzanne is for her to push Cecilia's right arm yeah, she's over in, to. She's in a lot of trouble. She's in a lot of trouble. She's pulling on the head, which is perfect. But what would also help is. Oh, now th now this is a submission we don't often see from people, but that has been done to me before. Perfect. Now what we see what we see Suzanne do is to push Cecilia's right arm over. And she's hooking the leg so she can't be picked up. Cecilia is really gritting this one out, really toughing this one out. But the question is, how much longer can she last? What we want to see is Suzanne continue to push Cecilia's right arm across. The thing here is Cecilia's on top, but it's still a stressful position for her. 
Definitely, like every minute she's in this triangle, energy has just been sucked from her. But she's doing a great job gritting it out. Oh, and transition to the armbar and transition back to the triangle. The ground knowledge of Suzanne is absolutely phenomenal. You see in her just switching from one submission to another submission. Maintaining this position, switching from one to the other, not losing position. Yeah, I think she just needs to change the angle of the uh, triangle to get it up. The armbar could be on Oh, her. she transitioned to the armbar. She's gone over. The armbar's still there. No. Oh. And cecilia has got out of the triangle and out of the armbar, and she's on top. Let's see whether she can work from this position. Grazie from Cecilia, but she, she looks tired. Yeah, just so much toughness and so much heart, but how much did she have left in the tank after all of that? Suzanne constantly threatening from her back. If I was Cecilia in this situation, I'd probably step off and step triangle out of this. Triangle again. Oh, very unfortunate. Back into the triangle. But let's see whether Suzanne can finish it this time. She came so close last time between the triangle and the armbar. But she may just run out of time again. And once again, a great, a great second round, second round for Cecilia, you know. I feel like she's had a tough couple of rounds, you know, in the, in the first round she was taken down and Suzanne was great on top. This time she got the takedown and Suzanne was fantastic on bottom. You know, Suzanne's shown some legitimate skills in that open round. The thing that's making the situation difficult, Suzanne is, that, that Suzanne is showing such fantastic skills in every area, heavy hands, Great off her back, great on top, but you know, Cecily is doing. A, she's doing a great. She's doing a great job, just showing her toughness and her grit. But whether that will be enough is the question. I mean, triangle there. It seems to be almost where Cecily's very sort of a uh, tall, slim build. It seems to be quite difficult to get a little tightness around around the neck. Exactly. She was in there for a long time. Many people would attack by then, but I think I think her slenderness probably helped her in that situation. I'd have been out. Wouldn't we all, my friend? <laughs> Third and final round, amateur MMA. Cecilia Davis versus Suzanne Wilson. Suzanne Wilson in the black rash guard, Cecilia Davis in the illuminous yellow rash guard. But you know what, Cecilia coming back in this third round, doing a great job. Yeah, straight punches, looking good. But she needs to stop it, she made a mistake. No, 100%, but you know, I think, I think we're finding out this is the most success we've seen Cecilia have in this fight, and I think this is where she needs to keep it. Whether she can keep it there or not is another story. See some knees. Now, great head positioning. I think maybe, I think maybe let's have, let's have Cecilia maybe break off and then go back to the striking because yeah. she was having great success here. I don't necessarily think it's a great, it's a wise idea to stay in this grappling exchange. No. Suzanne reversing the position. Great head positioning. Oh, and she's locked up the standing arm triangle. Very hard to get from there. Very hard to maintain that position and keep hold of the standing arm triangle. But you know, Cecilia's doing a great job pushing her up against the fence, you know. Oh, now Suzanne looking up the power guillotine. Now she's going to, she's trying to finish it, turning it into a high elbow guillotine. She's going to lock it in. She's top the eye, that one looks, looks deep. She needs to push into it, don't fall back. You know, Su 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 oh, absolutely fantastic. Just as I was about to critique Suzanne's technique with the guillotine, she showed me how much I do not know and finished it tremendously. Great fight. I'm not sure where, but there's some, some blood, so there's obviously a cut opened up somewhere in the exchange. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, three seconds of the final round, we have a winner.
by way of submission to guillotine choke, Suzanne Wilson. Please show your appreciation for a gallant runner-up, Cecily Davies. <laughs>